What's going on guys, Mixed here, back again for another cocktail. Welcome back to the Mixed channel, I'm your host Aaron, and today's cocktail guys is three and a half ounces of happiness. As you can see, we're doing another cocktail from the Alchemist cocktail book, and it's three and a half ounce of happiness. Because I've had this before, it's served in a hip flask, poured over the rock. So I will show you how to make this cocktail. So what we're going to do to speed up the process guys, is get a jug and put some ice, because I'm going to show you why. So the first thing we're going to go in guys is 25ml, just short of one ounce of Chambord. Next, 25ml, just short of one ounce of gin. In the book it recommends Tanqueray number 10, but I'm going to use Plymouth as that's my favourite gin and I prefer Plymouth. Next up is 15ml or half an ounce of citric acid solution. Just gonna say this is a substitute for citric juices like lime juice and lemon juice. As you can see, yes. As you can see, look how clear it is. It's absolutely fantastic and it reduces cloudiness because it's now clear. Next, 15ml or half an ounce of dry martini. Next, 15 ml or half an ounce of sweet vermouth or a rosso martini. And last but not least, add one drop of orange bitters. So instead of putting straight into the hip flask and chilling in the fridge for a couple of hours to chill it, what we're going to do now is just pour straight from our jug with ice because I've already chilled it, it's nice and cold and we're just going to use it straight away. So get your hip flask, open it, put your funnel in pour, and just pour straight into it. So you might be better double straining this because I have to get rid of any excess ice. So if you want to do three and a half ounce of happiness, just pour straight in. Because uh, we've had a little bit of technical difficulties with the air lot, because uh, it's not helps at all. But what you want, what you want to do now is get your rocks glass and put in two giant ice cubes. And now open up the hip flask. And just pour straight over it. Beautiful. And the final thing to do with the three and a half ounce of happiness is get your orange zest. But say, as you can see, we've got a slice of orange. But say, give it a twist, release that aroma. I think we'll do it like this. That's how I like to do mine. Right, how does it taste? Does it taste like I had it back in September for my 30th birthday? Three and a half ounce of happiness. Certainly a nice flavour. Because as you can imagine with the martini, it has that little bit of a zest in it, that orange in it, with the gin and mixed in with the martini. It gives it that bit of an imperative taste, that little bit of a bitter taste. But it's not as bad, because there's not, because they're usually with citric acid, normally have that little bit of an aftertaste with it, but it's certainly an improvement, this new citric acid. It's only an improvement, my new citric acid dilution rather than using straight lime juice and uh, straight lemon juice because uh, sometimes it gives me a little bit of heartburn. But that is alright. Ah, absolutely beautiful. 
So on the personal recommendation, I'd say the one I had in Alchemist was nicer than the one I've made. That's my personal recommendation. I've not quite got it. Not quite uh, got it as right as what they have. But so, but I will have a look. See how far off we were. So we definitely used all the right measurements. Because I but I was expected to be a little bit more red. That's how I remember having it. It's a bit more red. So I'd have to look back at my old uh, video from uh, September. So it'll show me how I had it. But I remember it being red rather than the colour I've got here. I'm not too sure how I've achieved that. So, but it's got the note, but it's got those notable tastes with it. That quite a bit of taste, but it's certainly quite smooth. It's tasty, and it certainly do the job, lad. Certainly. Get... But that, guys, is three and a half ounce of happiness. Don't forget to like and subscribe to mix it for more cocktails like this. As I will be doing more from my Alchemist cocktail book. Because it does help the channel to grow as well. Because I as the goal is to reach one thousand before the years. That's because I want eight hundred forty-two, so one hundred fifty-eight away. So I do appreciate your support throughout 2021 and last year. You've been fantastic. But that is all for now. And I will see you guys for the next Alchemist Cocktail. Cheers. <laughs>